Learning new details tonight about the racist graffiti found at Mercy High School a few weeks back in March. Through the Freedom of Information Act, News 8 has obtained the police report from that incident. Amel Elhel joins us now from our newsroom with more. Amel, what was revealed in that report? Well, Teresa, from the police report, we have learned of the reasoning behind the graffiti, or at least why the student responsible says she wrote it. Back in March, a racist message was discovered at the Our Lady of Mercy School for Young Women. The discovery led to outrage among students, protests, and an expulsion. A few days later, one student did confess to producing the writing, but for legal reasons, that student has not been identified. Until today, the public was unaware of a motive behind the graffiti. But today, in documents obtained by News 8 through the Freedom of Information Act, a reason behind the graffiti was revealed. The police report says the student responsible was practicing guitar in a classroom where a club meeting was underway. The student overheard discussion from the club that mentioned racism within the school, stating nothing is ever done about it. The report says the group of students said middle schoolers use the N-word regularly and use the very remark that was found on the bathroom wall. In the end, the student responsible said by writing the message on the wall, she hoped there would be a better response for their concerns, and the words were not meant to racially target anyone one person or group. The report states the elements found support the offense of making graffiti. The Brighton Police Department was advised by school administration that the case would be handled internally and no prosecution will be made at this time. The report also stated that this graffiti discovery led to school maintenance checking all facilities throughout the building and they did end up finding more graffiti. This time an anti-Semitic phrase was written in red marker in one of the school bathrooms. According to Brockport Police, since the student said the intent of the message was not racially targeted, the incident does not qualify as a hate crime. And excuse me, it's not Brockport Police, it is Brighton Police. Teresa, back to you. Thank you, Amel. News 8 did reach out to Mercy for a statement on the new findings. They say, we take seriously any event or action that causes harm to our students or school community and have zero tolerance regarding discrimination, harassment, or prejudice of any kind.